90 Day Fiance Fans praise Jasmine for keeping it cool. Josh Weinstein gets in legal trouble with model. Danielle Gates' shocking adult industry gig. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jasmine Panita from 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After is praised by fans for keeping her cool. She usually explodes when she gets into an argument with Gino Palazzolo, but this time, she takes a different approach. 90 Day Fiance Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo lack intimacy in the bedroom. Jasmine Pineda has been struggling in America. She misses her family and friends back in Panama. She feels alone and depressed. Her husband, Gino Palazzolo, isn't making her feel any better. She doesn't like that she has to depend on him for everything. She can't work or drive, so she relies on him for everything, and he doesn't always want to do what she asks. The 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After cast member opens up about their relationship to his family. She feels her husband's attitude towards her changed after their trip to Miami. However, he thinks that it's not true. He explains that she says mean and hurtful things to him and that makes him not want to be intimate with her. Gino reveals that he doesn't want to be with someone who is constantly saying hurtful things to him. So he says the intimacy between him and Jasmine has not been good. Jasmine claims Gino's addition ruining marriage. Jasmine starts to get emotional, but she doesn't lash out. She feels that Gino has a lot of deep sexual issues. However, she doesn't say anything about it because she feels she would humiliate and hurt him deeply if she said anything in front of his family. So she keeps her mouth shut until she and her husband get home. The 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After Castmate explains that she and her husband were trying to have a baby after they got married. However, they stopped. She feels he tries to make her yell at him, so he has a reason not to be intimate with her. The TLC star claims that he doesn't enjoy being intimate with her. She says he prefers other things. Jasmine claims that Gino has an addiction. However, he denies having an addiction. He feels she wants to blame him and not take any responsibility herself. 90 Day Fiance Happily ever after Celeb keeps calm Jasmine Pineda was able to have a conversation with Gino Palazzolo without yelling, screaming, or walking away. Many viewers were proud of her for keeping her cool. One person said, good for her for keeping her temper this time. Another person was waiting for her to fly off the handle, but they were shocked it hadn't happened. However, some 90 day fiance, happily ever after fans are hesitant to praise her behavior. One person can't praise someone for only being rational for once in their life. Another person says she screams like a lunatic every other time, and that she is only behaving now to make Gino look bad. Could this be a new Jasmine, or will the old her come through again? 90 Day Fiance Josh Weinstein gets in legal trouble with model. 90 Day Fiance Josh Weinstein has gotten into some legal trouble with a model. Josh Weinstein is known for his time on 90 Day Fiance the single life when he was dating Natalie Mordop Siva. Fans did not like Josh and he rubbed people the wrong way. However, it seems his new business is not going too well since he is now in a lawsuit. Keep reading to find out more about this. Josh Weinstein and his legal trouble Josh Weinstein launched a modeling company, Preview Model. This was made to help models get gigs and jobs. He does things such as casting calls and photo shoots. Sharon Brown has filed a lawsuit against Josh Weinstein and his company. They started using her pictures in February 2023. Josh told her they would pay her for the photos, but he still has not paid her. In May 2023, she asked them to stop using her photos. They were also using her images to make it seem like she was endorsing the company, but she was not. Fans do not approve fans do not approve of what Josh is doing. Is it his whole business model a scam? He gets one of influencers pay him to be in runway shows to increase their exposure. He probably stiffed her in more than one way. 
90 Day Fiance star, he was B-roll at best. He's always seemed like an overgrown boy to me, sadly no surprise here. Natalie has issues, but I don't think the way he let her was scripted. And it was so creepy when his little clown squad came on the reunion. This guy thinks he is in any position to help anyone do anything? This guy? This guy? Seriously? Viewers are not surprised that he is scamming people. It is also rumored that his entire business is a scam. He have even told Natalie that he would help her get into the modeling business. Well, that did not happen, and they broke up. It seems that Josh has gotten into legal trouble with Sharon. His new business was using her pictures and not paying her for them. They also made it seem like she was partnered with the business, and she was not. Fans were not shocked that he had gotten himself into trouble. Josh has not spoken out on the issue and continues to promote his business. What do you think about this? Sound off in the comments below. 90 Day Fiance Danielle Gates Shocking Adult Industry Gig 90 Day Fiance fans remember Danielle Gates from her explosive scenes with Johan Geronimo. These days, she is doing her own thing, including a surprising new gig in the adult industry. So, what do we know so far about this latest business endeavor for Daniela? 90 Day Fiance Danielle Gates and Johan Geronimo brought the drama Danielle Gates and Johan Geronimo brought the drama and toxicity from the moment they started filming their 90 Day Fiance. Love in Paradise scenes Even though that paradise turned into a nightmare relatively quickly, the pair still hung on for some time. As much as Danielle Gates and Johan Geronimo might have had physical chemistry, 90 Day Fiance fans agree that they were both toxic to one another in their relationship. While this tends to make for good television, with no shortage of dramatic scenes, it doesn't always work so well when trying to keep a relationship going for the long haul. TLC Celeb has been doing her own thing, many 90 Day Fiance fans are curious about Danielle Gates and what she has been up to. This is especially true considering everything that went down between Danielle and Johan in their TLC scenes. Based on her 90 Day Fiance social media updates, Daniela has been spending time in both New York and Miami. One of the biggest things for her about originally wanting to stay in the Dominican Republic with Johan rather than come back to America was that she wanted to live the beach life fully. Even though she has been back in America, Miami is likely the closest she can get to living that Dominican Republic beach life while still being in the United States. So, it makes sense why she has been spending time there. 90 Day Fiance Danielle Gates dishes on surprising reason for new adult venture Danielle Gates dabbles in a lot of things, including yoga, mindfulness, and various spiritual practices. However, Based on her most recent updates, she is delving into considerably more adult-themed endeavors. Just like many other 90 Day Fiance cast members, Danielle Gates has an on-life ends. However, according to her, the reason she finally decided to go all-in with an on-life ends account might surprise some of her followers. Danielle said, There's a million reasons so every time someone asks, I'll give a different one because I got three degrees when I shouldn't have even survived my teens, taught for 20 years, built a business alone, raised a kid alone, and still, the only thing anyone gives aff about is my asterisk asterisk. Danielle went on, adding, I'm tired of allowing that to frustrate me, and instead I'm letting my life be easier. We live in a patriarchal and misogynistic world, and it's about time someone paid me for that. When a 90 Day Fiance fan asked her what kind of content she has on her page, she said, the expensive kind. Surely, this will entice some followers to see for themselves. While Danielle has her share of both haters and supporters, this is one way to stay in the spotlight and keep people talking. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.